Okay, this is Personal Chef John Swallow, and this is, of course, this is like DVD content, you know, the bonus stuff. That's right, so that's right. You're well, not, you're not going to hear this on the radio, but here we are. Extra bonus so. <laughs> footage just for you. So um, here what we have today are some fresh herbs from Mary Mary Gardens. Um, she happens to be a local farmer that has really uh, put a lot of passion into what she does. And she was nice enough to give us some of her herbs today so we could show you guys what, she, uh, what we have here locally available to you and what you can use for your cooking at home. So um, we're going to kind of go down the aisle and back this way. But um, right here we have some fresh oregano. Just smells wonderful. And yet again, I wish we could do this scratch and sniff thing here. But uh, apparently we don't have the technology for that yet. So... <laughs> Um, right here we have fresh rosemary and both of these two herbs in particular you're able to find most of the times in stores, um, in grocery stores uh, at least most of the time. Um, and these are fresh bay leaves. I know a lot of you recognize these uh, from your, probably your, your pantries at home. Um, but these are not the dried product. These are fresh. They come right out of uh, off her property. Uh, and believe it or not, they smell fresh and they add a different type of appeal to the dishes that you're going to use them in. So I encourage you highly to try and locate some of those that are fresh and just taste the difference between, you know, what you used uh, for a dry bay leaf and a fresh bay leaf. It's, it's just, it'll blow your mind. Um, the next herb we have here in front of us is, uh, is sage, fresh sage. And sage is just an absolutely unique herb in itself. Yet again, you can find it in some grocery stores. It's used a lot of times, I like to use sage in things like if I'm doing a, uh, a butternut squash cappuccino or a bisque, um, you know, I like to use fresh sage in that because it really has a nice complementing flavor to those nice fall squash flavors. Uh, of course, it's not the only thing that you can do if, if you're doing stuffings, a chestnut stuffing in the, you know, around, around the holiday season, it's a great item to be able to kind of chop up fine, toss it in with some chestnuts, saute them, and then put them into your stuffing. It adds a great punch to that stuffing. Um, the other item that we have back here is tarragon, and tarragon itself is also a very unique herb to utilize. Uh, I don't know how many grocery stores you're going to be able to find tarragon in. I don't think that it's one of those, those herbs that you're going to find very prevalent in, in the local grocery chains, but if, if I had to guess which one you could probably find it at, most likely it's going to be Rouse's. So check them. If they don't have them, request it, or give Mary a call, and I'm sure you could find it there with her. And then these last four items here, you just simply will not find in grocery stores here in Lafayette anywhere. Um, this is a, uh, a micro carrot uh, plant. Basically, it's micro carrot pieces. Um, these were trimmed and, and cut from the basically real, really small version of the carrot plants before they were able to grow the tops there. Uh, and they have a nice sweet flavor to them. They're used as a nice garnish on a soup, on a plate with, uh, you know, protein. Uh, if you're doing a dinner party at home and you want to wow your guests, these are great ways to go through and do that. And as you can see here, she's got a lot of great herbs to choose from. Micro carrots. This is micro opal basil, which is a purple basil. And I think that she may have a mix of sweet basil in there as well. Um, but as you know, basil has a very nice sweet flavor to it. Opal basil is uh, also a nice flavor. It's not as sweet as, a, as sweet basil, but it's got a nice purple tint to it and adds a nice color uh, contrast on that dish. And the next item here that you see are the pea, uh, the pea shoots that we spoke about um, just a bit ago on the air. Really, really nice flavor. They are not that bitter. They are nice, sweet flavor, just like you find in sweet peas. English peas are a great complement to another dish, um, it, whether it be a soup or a garnish on a, on a main entree or even an appetizer. If you want to toss it with a salad maybe with a little bit of shaved fennel, if you're doing a nice salad with the protein, it's a great another item to try. I highly encourage you to try it. And then, of course, last but not least are the corn shoots. Uh, corn shoots add a great flavor as well to a garnish on a dish. It's a really, really nice looking product. And yet again, with all of these last four things and really and most of her herbs, you're not going to find these other products here in Lafayette anywhere else but from Mary Mary Garden. So check it out if you haven't already. But uh, I highly encourage you to try using some fresh herbs. If it means go to your local, um, you know, uh, just Lowe's or Home Depot and buy a plant, plant them in your garden, plant them in a basket, uh, grow them for yourself, and then have them available for whenever and for whatever. Enjoy.